welcome everyone to the official Ethon 4.0 showcase, where we will be showing you guys what we have been working on for the past year. Let's start off by simply making an account on the dashboard, which works in the browser, meaning that all devices are supported with Ethon 4.0, Android, iPhones, Linux, Mac, Windows, basically everything. When registering, you just enter your username, password, license key you received from the receipt when purchasing, and done. Now, the next step is to add 2FA to your account. More specific, TOTP authentication. Why is this required, you may ask? Well, Ethown accounts can hold some critical information regarding your Discord account connected. Either scan the QR code in an app like Google Authenticator, or put the secret phrase into your password manager to generate the OTP code. This is the last step before we can access the dashboard. We need to enter the token of our Discord account. If you don't know how to get yours, click on the video tutorial link. Now, let's talk about security here. When entering your token, it is client-side encrypted and stored in your local storage, leaving malware stealers trying to grab your Discord token from Ethone with a useless text of junk. Only for actions that require it, like starting Ethone, it is sent to the server and placed in memory there. It is never saved to the disk and securely used with a strict zero access policy. Let's enter our token and access the dashboard. As you can see, Ethone is currently offline for our Discord account. Before starting though, we can choose the platform indicator we want. I'm currently online on desktop with my actual Discord client. So let's choose mobile and see what happens. Due to our new hyper start system, Ethone 4.0 was able to start in under a second, rapidly fast. Seems like we got a notification in the control panel. Let's check it out. The control panel consists of two sections, events at the top and the remote command runner at the bottom, which we will get to in a second. Let's switch to Discord and enter our first command. The default prefix is dot. Switching back to the dashboard, we can see that Ethone instantly updated the control panel to show us that a command was used. Now let's put Discord and Ethone side by side and test how fast it really is. And as you can see, that was instant. I switched to a different channel. Let's click on the link icon and Ethone takes the desktop app to the ran command message. But what if you want to use the browser instead of the Discord desktop client? Well, just disable Discord protocol at the top and Ethone will open the link in a new browser window. Finally, let's check out a brand new feature, the remote command runner. This allows you to run commands anywhere on your account without actually sending a message, which means you can be incredibly stealthy. First, we select the server, then channel, and then the command we want to execute. Let's start off simple with the help command. As you can see, you get the arguments of the command presented in the UI, and if they are optional or required, works flawlessly with any command you want. We really hope you guys will enjoy this new feature presented by us. Next up, we got statistics. Nothing too crazy, but still nice to see some personal insights. Then we got rating. Ethone has a fully fletched out rating tool built into the self bot with no additional cost, which works fully from the cloud. You are able to enter your raid tokens, and there's also an option to automatically clean dead tokens from them. In today's video, we will not be going deeper into rating. It will get its own dedicated video. So yeah, up next are backups, which are now more advanced than ever. Click create backup and wait one to two minutes for Ethone to fully get everything from your account. We got a notification, and yes, the backup was successfully made. Let's head back and check it out. On the left, we can see the Discord account username, friends, servers, and when it was created. Clicking on the Start Recovery button on the right, an account recovery pop-up appears, where we can copy info about our Discord account, go through our friends and add them with a single button click, or rejoin servers with invites that were created for the backup. As you can see, it's working extremely smooth. Now let's look at some settings. Starting off in the account tab, there's just some account detail stuff. Nothing too interesting. Going into the general settings, we can see a few things to configure to our liking. At the top, your prefix when running your commands. Below that, the amount of time in seconds after which Ethone's response should automatically be deleted to avoid getting reported. The response mode defines how Ethone should form the response. Either delete and send or edit. Dynamic uses edit in a channel with slow mode and delete everywhere else. Next up is pre-response edit. Basically, instead of editing your message once the response is formed, it instantly edits your message to be invisible and edits it again when the response is generated. This is very useful for commands that require a long time to respond. Error output should be pretty self-explanatory. It just defines where you want errors to display if they occur. In the utility category, we got Nitro Sniper, which just got a massive upgrade. Introducing global caching, which allows Ethone users to benefit from each other by having a global blacklist of which Nitro codes to ignore, drastically increasing the efficiency. 
After that is our giveaway joiner, which will join giveaways from all major bots. To avoid detection, there's a blacklist which will make Ethone ignore those giveaways. And you can specify a join gate, which will pick a random number between the minimum and maximum delay. Now, to be extra stealthy, enable the auto join message delete feature. Remember those system messages? Well, you can actually delete them, and Ethone will do it for you in milliseconds. Finally, we have our extremely popular anti-token log system. This basically checks your Discord devices and instantly logs out any unwanted devices, such as from malicious actors trying to steal your account. You can select the speed intervals at which to check your devices and which locations to whitelist. It doesn't get much simpler than that. To round the showcase up, we're going to check out the customization section on mobile. There's four modes to select from, with embed being the prettiest, but also taking the longest. All of these settings instantly apply in real time when saving. That's code block, then quote, and finally minimal. Now let's create our own theme, introducing dynamic theme values, which update in real time. Every time you execute a command, just style the theme how you want, set it as active, and boom, instantly applied. Let's add a high to the footer, save, and it updated instantly. Really nice. That's going to be it for today's video. There's a bunch of features that are not in the UI yet. For example, anti-report, auto group scrape, and a bunch of features like our dedicated activity events, and many useful commands. We hope you enjoyed this video. Link to the product is in the description. Bye.